Thank you very much and good morning. Thank you all for joining me today. I'm uh, very glad to be here with Councilwoman Sharon Middleton, with our Health Commissioner, Dr. Axiris Barbeau, uh, Maria Tilden from Care First. Uh, we have uh, Jeff Rivers. I want to call you Rivers. John Spearman. John Spearman. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. No problem. <laughs> um, John Spearman from University of Maryland and any second now through those doors will bolt uh, the hope for our team, Ray Rice. Uh, two years ago the health uh, department conducted a study of Baltimore's neighborhood and found something uh, very startling, some very stark disparities. In some communities uh, here in Baltimore the life uh, expectancy was over 80 years old. In other communities, uh, some only a mile away, the life expectancy was barely 60 years old. A 20-year difference is unacceptable. The disparity is caused by a number of factors, particularly diet and lack of exercise. Our city has what's called food deserts. Uh, there are communities where they're more than a mile from the closest grocery store and access to fresh uh, fruit and vegetables. This year, the health department and the Pratt Library teamed up to help overcome the challenges of food deserts. Uh, they helped uh, with residents by creating a virtual marketplace. So at their local branch of the Pratt, people can shop and buy groceries that will be delivered to them at the library the next day. And at City Hall, my office is aggressively working to attract national grocery store chains to our city. While we work to improve access to fresh, healthy food, we must also uh, help people start exercising, me included, or consistently exercising. Studies have shown that people who exercise regularly live more than 12 years longer than people who do not. That's a significant number. For many people who are overweight or who aren't serious athletes, exercise can seem daunting. That's why I'm teaming up with my partners at Care First and University of Maryland for Healthy City Days. This initiative is the first of its kind in the country, promoting healthier living on a city-wide scale. From September the 21st, 7th, sorry, September the 27th to October 1st, we will bombard our citizens with information, screening, and demonstrations in an effort to show residents simple ways they can be healthier. We're going to be everywhere, in libraries, community action centers, in hospitals, office buildings, and at our inner harbor. Mobile vans will be providing screenings, uh, such as blood, uh, blood pressure screening and diabetes screening. Chefs will be showing people how to cook, I need that one, and uh, how to eat healthy. And trainers will be leading people in um, ways that we can add exercise to our daily routine. So to kick off the week, I will join residents, hopefully some of my friends from Edmondson Village will come join me, at a walk from City Hall to the Inner Harbor. Anybody in for that? Thank you. I will be joined by uh, Dr. Barbeau, Maria Tilden from Care First, somebody from uh, either Mr. Spearman or Mr. Rivers from uh, University of Maryland. Uh, I hope all of you will join me as well. Uh, now I would like to introduce my new health commissioner who is here, who is ready in her workout clothing. We're gonna, she's going to make Baltimore the healthiest city in America, Dr. Axiris Barbeau. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, I'm excited to be here in Baltimore, and I'm excited about Healthy City Days initiative. This interactive initiative will engage Baltimore City residents and workers to focus on healthy lifestyle choices and preventive care. The need for health-focused community initiatives was made clear in the Health Department's first Health Disparities Report Card released earlier this year. It showed that while health has improved for all demographic groups in the city over the last decade, significant disparities remain between different groups. Many are actually worse than they were in 2000, including disparities in colon cancer, prostate cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. As many of you know, the obesity epidemic is central to the widening disparities in heart disease and diabetes. In 2007, one in three Baltimore City residents reported being obese and another one in three reported being overweight. 37% of Baltimore public high school students are overweight or at risk compared to 29% of their counterparts in Maryland and the U.S. 
Obesity is a major risk factor for developing cardiovascular disease, Baltimore City's number one killer. Improving access to healthy foods for all Baltimoreans is an important part of our strategy to combat the obesity epidemic. Other long-term solutions aimed at improving public health overall include the trans-fat trans ban, the indoor smoking ban, efforts to reduce salt intake, our Be More for Healthy Babies campaign to reduce infant mortality, and our cardiovascular uh, health disparities initiative. But government alone can't solve all of these problems. That's why I'm pleased to see that nonprofits, hospitals, community and government agencies, local businesses, academic institutions, and corporate sponsors are joining us for Healthy City Days. Forging and sustaining these types of partnerships will be critical for our success. With the recent passage of healthcare reform, there is a need to create a greater emphasis on preventive care and family and community health. Healthy City, Day, Healthy City Days is a great first step in the right direction, and the Health Department is pleased to take a leadership role. On Friday, October 1st, we will hold a health fair at City Hall with free screenings and health information. I encourage all city employees to take advantage of this and other wonderful opportunities to get healthy during Healthy City Days. Thank you very much. I'm so happy to be joined by all of you, but there's, uh, I know many of you, particularly the ones that are wearing purple this morning, have a special place in their hearts uh, for the Ravens. And I don't want to put any pressure on Mr. Rice, but just for the record, I have cleared my schedule for Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> because I feel something is special in this season. And I'm, it, it, there's also something uh, interesting about a person who knows. He said last season he was uh, a secret. You know, he was our, our secret weapon. Not everyone uh, knew about him and knew what to expect, but this year he has a target on his back. So he's, every time he gets the ball, he said he's gonna have to perform. And I think it takes a, a, a real man to, to start off the season by saying, I'm, I'm putting myself under that type of pressure. So I'm very glad to partner uh, with Ray Rice for Healthy City Days. Please come up. Still morning, good morning. Uh, <laughs> um, First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for having me. It's always a pleasure when you can, you know, involve, your, involve yourself, you know, in something that's important, you know, to our mayor and to our community out here in Baltimore. You know, and, and once I received the call that um, I was going to be involved, I thought it was very important because, you know, for, for us as football players, but in general for kids and for adults growing up, you know, your health is very important. And, um, I started taking more pride in my health when I realized, you know, the strenuous job I was going to do. I couldn't eat certain things that I was eating, or I couldn't go out and drink certain things, soda. I mean, anything that's, you know, was going to harm my athletic performance and on and off the field. And um, I started taking more pride in my health when I was in college. You know, when I started running the ball and I started getting a lot of carries, you know, I realized that going into the season, you know, I was feeling good. but I would wear down because I wasn't eating the right stuff I was, I was supposed to eat. But the job that I'm doing now has prepared me for that. You know, I, I learned how to eat right, stay fit, stay healthy. And some of the tools that I've learned, and I, and I've, and I've, I can go out and teach others. You know, and you don't have to be an NFL athlete to maintain your health. You know, you don't have to go out and score touchdowns. You can be... You know, anything you want to be in your health is, is, is important. You know, eating the right thing. You know, and it's easier said than done. You know, and that's why, you know, to see everybody here as a group effort, you know, you start, you know, trickling away. I started even last year, my, had my mother working out with me, you know, just, <laughs> you know, little things like that. But after we work out, you know, it was something, is it, like, all right, let's go eat the right thing. You know, let's go drink water. You know, and you start off slowly but shortly, but, one thing I know is when you want to get yourself healthy, you can't do it alone. And um, by everybody here, we're all doing the right thing by, you know, having a healthy city day. And it's a collective effort of everyone, you know, because I know I couldn't do it alone. I needed coaches. I needed nutritionists. I need, you know, I've had, I've had tools, 
you know, now that people have the tools, they can use the tools, and now we can have a, hopefully, a healthy community, and then we can trickle this thing out <clears throat> and spread it out everywhere. So I'm just glad to be a partner. Thanks for having me. Now, Ray, I promised that I was going to exercise. I heard that you were promising to exercise with us on September the 28th at the Inner Harbor, right? Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good.